This is my 2008 Chevy Colorado pickup truck. Uh, I'm going to take and show you now how I've converted this into a rooftop, or in this case, a box top tent camper. So the first thing you're going to see is the uh, there's five of these two by fours that go across the top of the box. The one in the front and the last one will be uh, attached to the truck box with these uh, tension straps. We've got these tension straps tied down to the box on the inside and underneath I've got them hooked to the frame and then I pull them as tight as I can. Each one of the two by fours is numbered because I'll explain later why that's important. Now we're gonna put number two in place. And then we'll grab number three, put it in place. Or roughly in place. And then number four. And last but not least, number five, which is down here waiting to be put in as well. All right, now I've got all five two by fours in their basic positions. Now the next part comes the first of three deck boards. Okay, now you can see that the first one is on and there's holes that line up with these uh, pegs to hold the boards in, in place basically. So now I'm going to get the second deck board out and attach it. Okay, now you see the uh, right side deck board is on and attached to each of the 2x4s all the way down. And now I'll get the final one and the other side. All right, now you can see that all three panels are on top of the truck box. The outside panels are two feet wide. The middle panel is three feet wide. And then the final panel on this side is again, two feet wide. Now you'll notice I've painted it red, white, and blue. Each section of color being of equal proportion. You'll notice over here to level out the box because I'm on a little bit of an uneven area that I've got this wheel blocked up a little bit. And again, going back now to these pegs that line up with holes in the plywood panels. This is uh, quarter inch plywood. And I think that's enough to support my weight. If you're gonna have more than one person in here, you might wanna go with half inch. But that's, that's the uh, design so far. One thing I may have neglected to mention yesterday was that even though I painted these sheets of plywood, I still, when I go camping, I'm gonna be using a tarp over the top of it as a little uh, vapor barrier, moisture barrier. It's open underneath the box, so air and uh, cool temperatures can still get in through that area. So that's why I want to put the tarp over the top. As even another barrier uh, to keep it drier and insulate a little bit and protect the uh, bottom of the tent from getting pinched in between the cracks. Forgot to mention the bed, the tent that's going on here is a seven by seven tent. And now you see that I've popped the tent up on top of the deck. And we'll walk around behind it. So you can see it from the entry point. And this is the doorway to the tent. A couple of additional notes that I want to bring to your attention is that uh, the tent is fastened down with these hooks here in the corner that uh, have little key ring eyelets in it. It makes it easy for getting it off and putting it on. And that's on each corner. 
We're out now on the first ever camping experience with the new box top tent camper. Uh, even though it doesn't set up as fast as your typical rooftop tent units, it does still get you off the ground and leave storage space underneath the uh, tent unit in the box of the truck to haul all of your gear. This first camping experience with the box top camping unit is being recorded at the Deep Lake Campground, the Yankee Springs State Park near Biddleville, Michigan. It is uh, July 4th, 2020, and a lot of patriotism being displayed throughout the campground itself. Now let's go inside the tent and see what the setup looks like. Now we're inside the tent, and you'll notice that on the floor of the tent, I have what is a packing blanket. And there's the jackery, and this uh, milk crate is a storage unit, and it also has a seat on the top. And I step down onto the tailgate of the truck, and down onto a uh, five-gallon pail from Lowe's in this case. Now you can see the... Uh, 2x4s again holding up the platform and the tent unit on the platform along with the easy up right next to the tent and all of my cooking gear for uh, cooking meals and place to lounge. So that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it was a good weekend. I enjoyed it very much. I hope you enjoyed the video as well.